Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 21st of May 2016 and we're providing our gold and silver update for week ending the 20th of May. Gold fell in US dollar terms last week by $21 from $1,273 to $1,252 an ounce, having reached a high of $1,288 and a low of $1,244. In sterling terms, gold fell by £23, and in euros, it fell by 10.7 euros. Silver fell by 58 cents, from $17.11 to $16.53, having reached a high of 17.39 and a low of 16.33. In sterling terms, it fell 52 pence, and in euros, it fell by 0 0.40 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose from 74.4 to 1 to 75.7 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 17,500, up 65 points on the day and down 35 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 4,767, up 57 for the day and up 52 points on the week. Brent crude was up 89 cents at $48.72 and US light crude was up $2.20 at $48.41. The dollar index stands at 95.33. That's up 0 0.73 on the week, its third consecutive weekly rise. Gold steadied after two days of losses on Friday but was on track for its biggest weekly slide in eight weeks on the back of a firmer dollar and indications from the US Federal Reserve that it could raise interest rates as early as June. Technical analysts forecast that resistance is seen near the 10-day moving average at 1266 while support is seen near the April low at 1208. Silver markets fell during the course of the week showing quite a bit of weakness. However, the $16 level had been previously resistive and should be supportive now. Analysts are waiting to see whether or not some type of bounce or supportive candle near the $16 level occurs in order to start going long again. The number of Americans filing for unemployment aid fell from a 14-month high last week, the latest sign the economy was picking up speed in the second quarter. The economic outlook got a further boost from another report on Thursday showing a gauge of future activity jumped in April. The reports followed recent upbeat data on retail sales, home building and industrial production. Many commentators are now coming to the opinion that rates may indeed rise in June and this is shown by the recent relative weakness in stock market activity and the rise in the dollar index. At 95, the dollar is where the Fed wants it to be and falls within our satisfactory predictive range. We still cannot see a rate rise in June. However, there is no doubt that gold and silver markets are being affected. For those looking for 20 plus dollar silver, we do not see this happening. But feel any price within the $15 range now represents a good value buying opportunity. For our regular listeners, we have been somewhat preoccupied the past few weeks and will be for another week or so in preparing what is necessary for the inner sanctum of our website. This will open to those eligible in mid-June and if you haven't already become a free member of our community, then please visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and enter your email address. We shall be sending out communications at the beginning of June to update you, and meanwhile we'll continue producing YouTube videos, but not quite as many and as often as we have done in the past. Inner Sanctum members will be given much more up-to-date news, frequent contact and more inside information than will be revealed on YouTube. But more info on this will be provided at a later date.
We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page, which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.